assalamu alaikum students i hope you all are great so before starting my new lesson i would like to give a brief review of my previous lesson as you all know that we have discussed uh, the provinces of pakistan uh, in my previous lesson we have discussed the first two provinces of pakistan including the punjab and uh, sindh and we have discussed that now a days pakistan has five provinces punjab sindh khyber pakhtunkhwa balochistan and fata that is known as the gilgit baltistan in these days the federal capital of pakistan as we have discussed is islamabad because all the political affairs of pakistan and all the administration of pakistan is governing from islamabad then we have discussed the punjab as you know that punjab is a land of five rivers and all the five rivers of pakistan including the indus jhelum chenab satluj and ravi flows through that land and obviously as all the rivers flowing through this province so it is the agri best land for the agriculture purposes it includes all in crops including the wheat cotton sugarcane rice are grown here plus we have read that the lahore uh, in the city in which we are residing right now you and me is the capital of the punjab and lahore is known as a um, uh heart of pakistan and we have discussed some forest including the changamaga that is the man made forest and lal sohavra too then the capital of punjab is lahore it is the largest city in the punjab we have discussed and it is the most second most popular city in pakistan after the karachi and we uh, can witness a lot of the historical buildings and places in lahore just like the minar e pakistan badshahi mosque lahore fort shalimar bagh etc then we have discussed the language of punjab that is punjabi and the folk dances include the bhangra and ludi kabaddi is a traditional uh, sport and we have uh, discussed some of the uh, tomb of the saints including the hazrat data ganbakh shali hajwari that we can find in the har then we have uh, explained uh, we have explained Uh, the sin sin is a provincial capital um is karachi and sin uh, karachi was the first capital of pakistan when pakistan came into being in 1949 uh, 47 sorry when pakistan came into being in 1947 but with the passage of time islamabad became the capital of pakistan and due to its population sin is the largest city uh in terms of the population the sindhi is its main language and the, they have the deserts and the plains there and plus we can find the sea a lot of the uh, mazars shrines including the shah abdul latif bhatai shah abbas kalandar abdullah shah ghazi are also found there now let's start today's lesson with the balochistan okay so uh, let me explain it to you first Balochistan is also one of the beautiful uh, province of Pakistan, and the people of the Balochistan are uh, not that much modern. Uh, they are conservative in mind. The capital city of Balochistan is Quetta, and uh, we can find a lot of the deserts in uh, Balochistan. and the environment of balochistan is just like that it is kind of the dry environment uh, uh, there is no large amount of the rainfall there so this cause to the less vegetation but it doesn't mean that it is uh, there are no nothing can uh, grow there but we can find some kind of the fruits including the apples peaches grapes and cherry is also famous for quetta ki cherry badi mashhoor hai ji plus balochistan is the largest province of pakistan in terms of its area the population of balochistan is not as huge as, as karachi and the lahore so let's read it down the capital of balochistan is quetta which is also its largest city it has an extremely dry desert climate there is a very little vegetation basically the climate of the quetta some kind of the desert and some kind of the plateaus there we can find the rocky kind of the deserts there 
okay not every desert is a sand desert some of the deserts are also rocks wahan pe hame chote chote pahad milte hain jo pano ke type ke that is known as plateaus okay however fruits like apples peaches grapes cherry almonds pomegranate and plums grow very well in some areas i remember uh, i can give you the example here actually my father was in army so we were used to travel uh, almost every uh, corner of the country and i am very blessed that i have seen all the provinces of the pakistan so uh, when uh, we were used to reside uh, in the quetta kent so cherry is very common in fact we have uh, we had the cherry tree um, in the next house so our neighbor always uh, used to get us the we send us the cherries and the apples taste of the apples that is found in the quetta was amazing they were very sweet even the pomegranates they are very rich in flavor but it mazze ke hote hain even we uh, the export quality of the apple that were used to export in all across the globe uh, from pakistan they are usually we are usually getting it from the quetta or the baluchistan so every from as you can see that every province of the pakistan has its beautiful culture alhamdulillah we are living in the country we where we can find our own fruits uh, if you ask about the people who are residing in the gulf country in fact raste hain hum pakistani aam ko pakistani phal ko because they always mention that pakistani mango is amazing all of us and humne padha uh, in our last lesson that we can find the mangoes in the sind and the punjab similarly we can find the apples pomegranate almonds cherry peaches in the balochistan juniper alpine and coniferous forests grow here is all our kind of forest it has vast natural resources especially natural gas which is supplied to the rest of the country uh, alhamdulillah we are living in the country where we have the natural supply of the natural gas we have the huge supply of the natural gas at a spot sui that's why we are called this gas sui gas but unfortunately we are facing the corruption for so many years that's why jitna hamare paas zakhira hai jitna hamare paas gas hai isko resource hai hame isko puri duniya mein export karna chahiye tha agar hum isko puri duniya mein export karte hain to literally we will be spreading side by side around the gulf countries just like this okay area sells the uh sells its oil and earn the living from all across the globe similarly if we are not if we will not face the corruption in the future here and will use our natural resources properly we will use this gas properly so we can become the, even the creditor to the world not only the debtor आज हम से दुनिया से कर्जा ले रहे हैं हम अपने नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज को प्रॉपरली यूज करें सो वी वुड बी एबल टू अर्न अ लॉट the newly developed gwadar port okay this is an amazing thing which is a significant part of the china pakistan economic corridor cpac is in the south of the balochistan everyone knows the cpac these days if you don't know so let me explain it to you cpac is basically the china pakistan economic corridor and it is basically the road established between the pakistan and the china for the trade purposes and it is located to the south of the balochistan allah blessed us with the gwadar port and trust me gwadar port is one of the amazing location and we are very uh, blessed that we have this location with the help of the gwadar port we can do our trade with that of the gulf country because it is just next, next to the dubai it binds you it is very near to the dubai that only distance of the air flight between the gwadar and the dubai is just 30 minutes port port is very important it plays a very important role for the trade of pakistan if we will use this port very carefully we can earn a lot we can make our country a very flourish place hum apne mulk ko ek bahut behtar halat mein kar sakte hain agar hum is port ka behtar tarike se istemal kare but unfortunately we are not using it right now obviously pandemic of the covid 19 is one of the reason but phir bhi agar hum isko proper tarike se करें इट 
will make the pakistan uh, a progress country a developed country qaid azam spent the last days of his lifetime in his residence in ziarat balochistan and other significance of the balochistan is the qaid azam residence that is located in the ziarat and it is absolutely beautiful i have been there for uh, in 2007 and it is amazing uh let me show you in the picture okay so if you can see on the screen this is the picture of a beautiful kind of residency uh, that is found in the <coughs> ziarat <coughs> and qaid azam spent his last days of his life in this residence <laughs> it's just kind of the museum these days that you can find all kinds of the things that qaid azam used clothing shoes etc in this place okay students let's move further the shrine of baba harwari is also in ziarat baba harwari was kind of the saint and it's a, a shrine or the tomb we can also find in the ziarat balochistan the people speak many languages including balochi pashto brahvi persian just like the native language of the punjab is punjabi but people also uh, residing here speak saraiki too that's why we can find the pashto balochi brahvi and persian here okay the traditional cuisine uh, is sajji balochi sajji is very famous in fact i just love it and it is my favorite food especially in the winters we can find the balochi sajji in lahore to in some of the restaurants uh, just like we can find it in the kazafi stadium uh, i have uh, eaten it and i just loved it so uh, whenever you will visit the kazafi stadium and it's winter so please try it you will love it the sibbi mela Sibbi is usually the very hottest place of the Pakistan, and it is located in Balochistan. So, वहाँ पे कोई मेला लगता है, that is known as Sibbi Mela. A livestock fair is held each year in Sibbi. People from all over Pakistan visit this fair. This is basically the fair designed for the livestock, including uh, the a dairy farm, etc. So, the people all across the Pakistan visit this fair. The traditional dances are chhap, lewa, and jhumar. the traditional sports are jock g and horse racing horse racing ghur sawari badi famous hai ji balochistan ki the men wear loose kameez and baggy shalwars with turbans while the women wear embroidered frock type shirt shalwar and chadar okay i am trying to find out the picture on the google so i will share it to you the dress code let me find it Okay, students. So you can see in this picture, these are the. This is the traditional dress code of Balochistan, and you can see uh, the boy is wearing the baggy shalwar along with the loose kameez, okay, and the turban on his head. While this beautiful girl is wearing the embroidered shirt, frock type. shalwar and she is wearing a very big chadar as the people of the uh, balochistan is not that modern and they are conservative they are not very they do not believe in very uh, literacy so that's why the uh, dress code of the balochistan shows their conservative mind too okay students now let's come to the khyber pakhtunkhwa khyber pakhtunkhwa Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is one of the most beautiful province of Pakistan in terms of its landscape especially all the northern areas of the Pakistan including the Mari Daran Kaghan Hunza uh, Ferry Meadows etc these all are located in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa So Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is the third most populated province of Pakistan. Peshawar is its capital city. The people speak many different languages including the Pashto obviously the Pashto is their main language but besides the Pashto they also speak Hazara, Chitrali, Hindko, Kohistani. 
actually the people of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is usually the people we also known um, call them the Pathans. And the people of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa are very hard working. They are known as a very brave people. And they are not obviously that modern as we and the people of the Karachi or the Sindh are. But they have the very beautiful culture. They are very sweet people. They are a warm welcome person. And the tourism of Pakistan is all relying on the province of the Obviously, all the landscapes of Pakistan, just like the Lake Safal Maluk, just like the Naran, just like the beautiful Zunza, just like the Gilgit, and these all are all the uh, 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 all the mount, beautiful mountains uh, almost are located in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. So that's where a lot of the tourists uh, visits from the uh, other countries always love to visit the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. It has dense alpine and coniferous forests, fruits such as apples and apples. As you can see, uh, apples and apricots are usually found in the mountainous areas, usually. Nuts and seeds such as almonds, walnuts and pine nuts grow here. Um, unfortunately, this is the pandemic we are all are going through this summer. But obviously, whenever we have the summer vacation, me and obviously some of you people always visit some of the northern areas because the climate of the northern areas are usually cold as compared to the plain areas. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has many famous tourist destinations such as the town of Naran, I mentioned valleys of Kahan, Kalam, Shandur Pass, Sky Resort of Malam Jabba. Oh my God, it has beautiful, beautiful places. It has a wealth of natural resources such as a marble and precious stone. So we have the natural resources that is found in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa too, including the marble and the precious stone. It has a very little agricultural land. Obviously, agriculture is not possible in the mountainous era. That's area. That's why. Maize, millet, barley, rice, sugarcane, tobacco are grown here. Oh my God, there are so many things are grown there. The traditional cuisine is chapli kebab. If you, um, I remember I visited Mari the last year and I ate the chapli kebab from the mall or Mari and it was too much delicious. I cannot find that taste in Lahore even. So the speciality is chapli kebab. Khatak dance and atan are the traditional folk dance of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The shrines of Rahman Baba and Hazrat Khwaja Kaka Sahab are in the province. The traditional sports is Makha Archery. Peshawari chapels and Pakal caps are distinguishing items of province traditional clothing. Obviously, Peshawari chapels are uh, that kind of thing that we are used to export all across the globe. So we can find the various places in this picture of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Number one is Kissa Khawani Bazaar. Kissa Khawani Bazaar is very famous of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Namak Mandi hai ji, hamari Edward College hai and everything. Okay, so today we have discussed the Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. If you have any query regarding this, so feel free to ask. After this video, I'm going to share the classbook with you. Thank you, everyone.